Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we are going to look at a probably a, a day old problem that we've struggled with and it's getting the MAC address of another computer. So to get a MAC address even of your own machine uh, basically people will go this route. You type I can P config, IP config space slash all and then you kind of sift through all this stuff and you find the one that correlates to the adapter you want. So that's one way to do it. And then if you want to find out somebody else's MAC address, you would ping 192.168. Let's just do 1.1 .1 for example. And then after you successfully pinged it, then you can look at your ARP table. ARP-A. And then when you do that, you will see a list of all the IP and MAC addresses of everything you communicated with. So that's one way to do it. And this only works if you're on the same subnet. So in some corporate environments, enterprise environments, you probably want to do this across subnets or VLANs. So I'm going to show you an alternative. Let's clear the screen. And it's get MAC, MAC, get MAC. And that appeared as of Windows 7, actually Windows 2000, I'm pretty sure it first appeared. For sure it's Windows 7, 8 and higher. So you type get MAC, there's your MAC addresses, and there's your transport name, and you may say, well, that doesn't really help me too much, I don't understand the gibberish. That's what the slash capital or uppercase V does for you. It gives you more context, and I can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, killer Ethernet adapter, and that works pretty good. Now, if you want to go a little step further and you're doing an inventory project, something like that, what you could do, let me just paste that in there, is you can do the same command, slash capital F-O for file format, format output, so to speak, and then CSV. There's a few options you can put in there, list, CSV, and I think the other one's table. Uh, and then there you go. And that gives you a nice format that you can put into an Excel spreadsheet, database, whatever you happen to do. So the last thing we can do with this, which is kind of slick, I'm just going to copy and paste this so I don't do a hundred typos. And that's go get the MAC address from another system. So get MAC slash uppercase S, the IP or name of that host, slash uppercase U. This is case sensitive, by the way. And then the name, the username. In my case, I've got a space in it, so I had to put double quotes around it. If you don't have a space, then don't worry about the double quotes and then slash capital P, P as in Peter or password, space and then the password, and then slash V as in Victor. So when you do enter on that, it's going to go talk to this device. Now this is kind of important. So I did a little trace on it. It seems to be using the DCE RPC protocol, for the people who know what that is. That's open on most systems. Uh, if you are a firewall or security guru, you may have tightened down your firewall, your services, and you could have possibly stopped or blocked this service and it won't work. Uh, if that's the case, then obviously you know what you're doing, so this is a moot point. For everybody else who has everything set for default, you'll find that this will work pretty good across both systems. Now, I did it on a machine on the same VLAN as me, but this would work on any PC anywhere in the environment. So there you go, now you got a MAC address, so you can put that in your Wireshark, in your diagnostics, tool, reports, whatever you have to do. That's it. Have a good day. Bye for now.